I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. What is happening, YouTube family? I just finished training my clients at Metro Flex. Ah, just wanna go home. And I'm on my way home to pick up Naisha and we are going to train. But I thought I'd you know, do this little video just to let you know, give you an update, let you know what's happening. You know, let, let, let you in on the secrets, man. Because if you follow me on Instagram, the picture that I posted as my kind of like post-show reflective thoughts stated that there's, there's, there's things in the pipeline, there's new, there's new things that are coming, there's you know, changes are upon us. Because, alright, I got my feedback. Well, I personally watched the footage back from the show, as I always do. Critique myself. My posing could have been better. My posing might have seen a, a little bit relaxed. Um, I think I need to, well, Naisha says that I need to do more posing um, without a mirror and I needed to hold my lower abs in a bit tighter. So those are the kind of like critique points that I took from the video. Plus, I look big compared to everyone else. So I messaged a couple of the judges and I got the reply back. And just as I suspected, I'm just, my muscle is too dense for the class, especially my back. Um, so, you know, the for the UK, I mean, I know that in America, the, the physique guys are a lot bigger and the Olympia guys are a lot bigger, but for the UK, um, it's just a bit, a bit too much, a bit too much. So, that being said, I've been advised that if I'm to continue doing physique, I probably need to lose about three to four kilos of muscle. I'm not going to lose three to four kilos. I mean, men's, men's physique isn't, isn't that serious for me. So I am planning to join the dark side of bodybuilding. I will now be competing in a bodybuilding category so i don't know which one i don't know you know what weight class and all that kind of stuff i'll be in but i'm going to take this year off which is still happening and i'm just going to build on the areas that i feel need to be built to be complete for bodybuilding so yeah fun times ahead diet wise um I'm just gonna stick with a balanced diet. You know, aim for, I'm not gonna count calories and you know, my fitness power and all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna be sensible, but I know roughly what I need to eat to get about 230 grams of protein a day. And um, you know, I know how much carbs is too much per meal. And you know, I know how much fats is too much per meal. So I'm just gonna be sensible increase my food if I feel that my weight is dropping too much or I'm not seeing enough progress kind of thing and just just gauge it like that as it gets closer to the time maybe four or five months out then I'll start looking at drawing up a fully planned diet but for now you know get my family life back you know, eating with eating with the family and all that kind of stuff just just not a bit more normality without pulling out my phone for my fitness power every two seconds to check whether I'm allowed to eat it. So um, yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. As I said earlier, off to go and pick up Naisha because the grind starts today. Hamstrings is one of the areas which I feel I need to build on, and that's what's going down today. So enough of me talking. Let's see some action, baby. 
action. See y'all later. All right, so I'm at home and I decided to make me up a batch of protein, banana, and raspberry pancakes. Yeah. Put a little bit of strawberry jam on top. But yeah, they're tasty. And I used um Cymex have come out with this new flavor for their protein called Raspberry Ripple. Done a good job there. Done a good job. So I'm gonna eat this and probably go and train in about half an hour or so and smash up hamstrings. A little bit of quads. I started getting a little bit of um, patella tendonitis just from the last couple, last few weeks um, leading up to the show. So just not putting too much pressure on it. Don't want to be out <laughs> again. So um, yeah, training smart, training smart. So I'm gonna eat this. And then off to the gym. See you in a bit. Is it focused? How does my hair look? Alright, so I kind of messed up a little bit. Um, got to the gym, had my tripod there, had my squat shoes, had my wraps, uh, had the attachment to the camera, but no camera, left it at home. So, luckily, I still have some action for you. I recorded um, bits of my chest workout um, from, is it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. So I will put some highlights on the screen whilst I'm talking. I'm going to explain what I'm doing, what my split is. Basically, I've taken my weak areas, so I'm doing a body part each day, but the workouts will focus on my weak areas and I've picked compound movements, three or four compound movements for each one, and then I'll have like a power lifting approach in terms of lifting 75% of my one rep max for eight reps on each compound movement, then finishing off with um, some slightly higher rep, um, isolation work so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next probably say probably about six six to eight weeks bring my strength back up um, focus on the weak areas and get strong and alpha as fuck anywho I am hungry I'm going to eat um oh if you get the chance, go on musclefood.com and um, look for, what was it? Um, oh, hot and spicy, hot and spicy wings and the peri peri chicken thighs. Oh, mm -hmm. bellissimo. Get some microwave rice and put it all in a bowl. I don't even know what this accent is, but it tastes beautiful, very beautiful. Kablam! Boom! Boom! I kind of char grilled them. Yeah, that's the peri peri thigh and that's the hot and spicy wings. Some microwave rice and some homemade sauce with some vegetables in there. But yeah, it tastes so good. It tastes so, so good. I had a pack yesterday. Grilled the pack yesterday, me and Aisha ate like, um, finished all of them. And then I was like, man, I wish I ordered more. And then I was like, but wait, I did order more. I have two more packets left. <laughs> so excited. Oh, but they taste good. They taste so good. They just fall off the bone as well. Um, you know, like in cartoons where you just put the, the chicken in their mouth and just, and then the bones are there. That's the sheer. <laughs> Whew. All right, anywho, tomorrow is back day, I think, 
and um, also getting a massage, long, long awaited massage, um, just to really sort out my my knee. It's giving me a few niggles today, so need to get that sorted. So I'm gonna eat, and I will see y'all tomorrow. So back from the gym, as you saw today was back day. Now just eating my post-workout meal, which is <laughs> freaking huge. <laughs> Alright, so I've got um, one full pack of, which is like two servings of um, the microwave basmati rice, two tins of tuna, um, just grated loads of fat-free cheese from muscle food muscle um, fat-free mozzarella and then squared some salad cream quick easy I got to go for a meeting Mel my massage therapist and she's going to loosen me up and fix me been long awaited I'm gonna go and see her today so I'll take you guys with me so I'm going to eat this Simple but very effective bodybuilder meal. And I'll see you guys on the way to get my massage. Alright guys, so I'm here at Stritham and Croydon Rugby Club. Where um, Mel is based. So gonna park up inside they just opened the gates for me so all right one sec all right guys so I've just left um, Mel's massage clinic oh, I feel flipping brand new I feel brand new she did she worked on my back like the problems that I was having in my back before she just ironed that out found the the source at the bottom of my traps which we knew um, and also fixed my knee because my patella tendon was tight. Told me what the issues were as well. It's crazy um, how the tightness in my glutes and also my um, glute mid uh, wasn't firing either. How that in effect caused it caused the patella tendon problem. Plus also. Um, my up my upper back seizing up it's just mad how everything just links together but it's only until you see the profession nows that you find that stuff out but right now i am heading to um my in-laws to pick up naisha she went to go and see her mum uh, they just got back from holiday yesterday so um they're kind of catching up and stuff <sighs> But yeah, feels so much better. So, so much better. But anywho, that was just a quick update for y'all.
All right, so at home now. <laughs> Two things I seem to be addicted to for muscle food. Let me just turn that on the TV. Oh, now those chicken wings. No, three things. Hot and spicy chicken wings, piri piri thighs, and the pizzas. Yeah. Cause this whole pizza would be about 20, less than that, about 18 grams of fat. About 25 carb and then about 65 protein. That makes me happy. Just before I eat this, just a little update. The other day I mentioned that, um, yeah, I wasn't really willing to lose muscle to um, be able to stay in men's physique. But basically I've been talking to a lot of my, a lot of my friends, um, and Naisha about the whole men's physique thing and everyone as soon as I've mentioned bodybuilding everyone's like your physique you are what men's physique is you look at the guys in America your men's physique your shape blah 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 so I'm like okay cool took what they said on board um, analyze the film again you can never analyze film too much and <laughs> when I look back at it I was bigger than everyone and if that's not what they want then I've got a strategy that I'm going to put in place for the next show um, which will just manipulate in the diet to make me look different on stage um, more in line with what I finally think I know what they're looking for so yeah it's back on you know like in um, Nutty Professor where um, <laughs> Sherman Clump is like You can't beat me! Oh no 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 no, buddy is like You can't beat me! And then Sherman goes Yes I can! That's like me and the UK BFF men's physique I'm beating this shit I'm coming back Coming back baby <laughs> But um because of the the time of um our son's birth the british finals i need to be alert I need to be on the go so british finals probably out of the question for me so yeah next year nationals next year nationals you will see me on stage again men's physique and don't worry i'm bringing the package i'm not gonna lose muscle I'm not gonna lose size. I'm just gonna manipulate my diet, which I'll take you along on that as well. So when it comes to that one, I'm gonna bring another raw edition back because I see you guys liked it. So and showed me a lot of support. So definitely that will come back. But until then, I'm gonna just eat sensibly, not be stupid, continue with my training. But yeah, next April. I'm not sure the exact date. When I've got the exact date, I'll let y'all know. But it's going down. But yeah, I'm going to eat this pizza. And I'm going to end this clip. Because I'm hungry. Anywho, I'll see y'all guys later. Remember to always be true. No matter what you do. I never front it. I got my whole cool life on.